A 45-year-old man sustained a penetrating wound to his chest that resulted in cardiac tamponade. Blood accumulates between. Cardiac tamponade is accumulation of blood into the pericardial cavity and this requires the knowledge of the layers of the pericardium and where the pericardial cavity is located. So if we imagine that this is a view of the lateral side of the heart, then the heart is covered by the epicardium. The heart has three layers, endocardium, myocardium, and epicardium. And it is the epicardium, which is, in other words, it is the visceral layer of the serous pericardium. In fact, the pericardium has two layers to start with, a fibrous pericardium and a serous pericardium. A serous pericardium, like any other serous membranes in the body, have a parietal layer and a visceral layer. The visceral layer, as the name indicates, is directly related to the viscous. So the visceral layer is directly related to the heart. And the pericardium also covers the origin of the great vessels. And then it will be reflected. The visceral pericardium will be reflected as the parietal layer of the serous pericardium. So this is the parietal layer of the serous pericardium. The fibrous pericardium is a thick layer. It is the outermost part of the pericardium. The fibrous pericardium is directly related to the outer aspect of the parietal pericardium. There is no space in between them. So this layer from one side, it's a fibrous pericardium. And from the other side, from the inner side, it's a parietal layer of the serous pericardium. There is no space in between them. The pericardial cavity is located between the parietal layer of the serous pericardium and the visceral layer of the serous pericardium. So in cardiac tamponade, let's see the option A. Where would the blood accumulate? Myocardium and endocardium? No. They, these are layers of the heart. As I said, endocardium, myocardium, and epicardium. So the blood will not accumulate here to cause cardiac tamponade. Option B, visceral pericardium and myocardium? No. It doesn't accumulate again between the visceral pericardium or the epicardium and the myocardium because the blood accumulates in the pericardial cavity. And by definition, the pericardial cavity is located between the visceral pericardium and the parietal layer of pericardium. Visceral layer and parietal layers of serous pericardium. C, parietal pleura and fibrous pericardium? No, because this is not the location of the pericardial cavity, parietal and visceral serous pericardium, this is the correct option, parietal and visceral layers of the serous pericardium. In other words, between the red and blue colored lines. Let's look at option E, fibrous pericardium and parietal serous pericardium. This option is also incorrect because there is no space for the fluid, for the blood to accumulate here. The parietal layer of the serous pericardium and the fibrous pericardium are fused together and they cannot be separated.